on Monday. A scary situation at a local school. Three students detained by the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office today over a social media video showing what appeared to be a student with a gun on campus. That immediately prompted a lockdown that was eventually lifted. Jenny Young on the scene now. I know you talked to law enforcement, Jenny, and the school district. What did they tell you? So the school district sent an email to parents saying that it was a student who alerted a staff member about that Snapchat video. Then a school, the school resource officer um, alerted the, the sheriff's office. They were here within two minutes. The sheriff's office telling us that Snapchat video showed a student in the school restroom holding what looked like a gun. The school officials helped deputies find two of the students seen in the video. However, the campus went on lockdown when deputies couldn't find a third student who might have been involved. With help from school staff, deputies say they did eventually find that student and took the teen into custody. They also recovered what they're calling a realistic looking airsoft gun. I've never had this in real in real life, you know. I've heard about it. I've heard about all these stories, you know, but never actually, you know, never actually think, oh, this is going to happen to my kids or this will happen in the same district or whatever. You know, you don't think of that until it actually you're like, whoa, 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 like, wow, this just happened. I spoke with that parent on the phone after the lockdown was lifted. Two of his kids go to Clackamas High School. They sent him that Snapchat video. It was a big eye opener and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> That email the district sent to parents said in part, quote, the safety of students and staff is our top priority, and we are also committed to keeping families informed in a timely manner during emergency situations. Staff worked this afternoon to help students debrief this event and are providing counseling support as needed. All right, so Rock Creek Middle School, which is just a few minutes from where I st I'm standing, went on what's called secure mode, meaning all the doors, the outside doors were locked. That's according to the district. What's next for these teen boys or for these teenagers? We don't know. We're working to find out. You know, Jeff Liz, oftentimes we're not given much information about what happens in these cases, but we are working to find out if there will be any charges brought. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Queen 6 News. Yeah, I know you'll update us if you get new details. Jenny, thanks. Recent studies show more than